everyone. Happy Monday! I am officially back to work today. I'm not quite sure. I I need another week off. At least, if not two more. Wouldn't that be great? What did I ever do to not work a job that would give me a, a sabbatical? How did I manage that? But at any rate, I hope you all had a great weekend. I had an awesome weekend. I had a great week last week. I took time to declutter my kitchen. Is it 100% done? No, but I'm okay with that. I give myself grace for not accomplishing every single thing on my bucket list because the bucket list was, it was quite long. But that's okay because now I'm in the mode of cleaning or decluttering and I can continue. And that's great. It got me going and now I can continue with the desk area which that's a disaster that's going to take me a whole day by itself and I'm okay with not getting it done last week because I took some time to enjoy my time off too and we all need that besides just working all the time but today is my official first day back to work I will start at 7 so I got about a half hour to get this done and wrapped up it will be a very interesting week because the previous week I was off, the week before that my coworker was off. So we have a lot of catching up to do. So I'm hoping that everything went good for her last week and that we can chit chat about her vacation because she took a bus tour to Niagara Falls. How amazing would that be? Are we ready for the new mantra? Now last week and the week before was on habits. I abandon my old habits and I take up new ones and I'm going to make those habits positive. That worked pretty well for me except for those old habits they snuck in. But I was on vacation. Which of course got me out of my daily habit of getting up and going to work. And now that I'm back in that habit of getting up and going to work, the habits should be easier because I don't take the time to roam through the kitchen and look for chocolate because I'm busy working. It's the weekends that get me or the time I had off. When I don't have myself preoccupied doing things like working, then I find my mind wandering and then I'm on the hunt for let's just try something to munch yeah so getting back to work is actually good and I'm a-okay with that this week's mantra is I deserve all the love the universe has to offer I deserve all the love the universe has to offer this mantra to me is it took me a while to figure out that I too deserve the love that the universe has to offer, including self-love, self-health, self-wealth, self-care, taking care of myself. I deserve that. If we go back to several weeks ago, and I am more than good enough. Again, along that same vein, I deserve it. I deserve all the love the universe has to offer, including my own. And that is so hard, especially in today's world. Because as women, we are expected to give everything to everyone else. So learning that boundary, learning that fine line of, okay, I, I'm saying no. Or that boundary is crossed and no, you cross that line and I don't, I don't need this from you, whatever it is. I'm taking back my own energy my own power and I'm saying no I'm taking care of myself first 
Not that we don't take care of everybody else, because we do, because we're just that awesome, but to take time for myself, instead of putting everybody else first. What's that old saying, you know, when you get on an airplane and they give you the rundown of if something goes wrong and the oxygen masks fall, put yours on first and then help your neighbors. So we need to do that within our own lives and not feel guilty about it. I deserve all the love the universe has to offer including self-love. Or we could even go self-like. Finding things you like about yourself. If you can't get to the love. Just things you like about yourself. Things that you think are great, if not great, just okay. My one standing joke is, well, I'm a great aunt. What kind of aunt am I? The greatest aunt ever. And it sounds silly, but I say it to remind people, hey, don't forget, I'm good too. And I'm just not good, I'm great. But also to remind myself that, you know what? You're, you're more than good enough. You are great and a great aunt. Now, do I, does, does it go smooth all the time? Am I the greatest aunt ever 100% of the time? No, nobody is 100%. I can't hold that greatness 100% of the time. There's times where I get down too. I get sad. The kids drive me nuts. But for the most part, when it comes down to it, they know they can call on me. They know they can ask me questions. They know I'm there to help them. They know that I can be silly, even in public shopping. We'll real sing songs and dance around. And I'm good with that because moms can't do that sometimes because, well, they're busy being a mom. And mom's job is to keep them safe. Auntie's jobs, we're there to have fun. Not that we don't keep them safe and teach them things, because we do, but we're there to keep them entertained. And it's okay to toot your own horn once in a while. It doesn't make you conceited, doesn't make you arrogant. You're good enough. You deserve the love. So stick that one in your daily mantras and see how it makes you feel. I'm more than good enough. I deserve the love the universe has to offer, including the self-love. Are we not part of the universe? Makes perfect sense to me. It is Monday, beginning of a new week. Let's make this week awesome. I am putting it out to the universe that we're going to have a great week. My work week will go smooth. I am so busy after work this week. It is ridiculous. Every single night, except for Friday night, I have something going on. Whether it is an auxiliary function, whether it is a, I've got a Toastmaster meeting this week even, I've got a doctor appointment, I've got a class on Wednesday. It's going to be a busy week, but that's okay. We have ungodly temperatures coming at us. I know the majority of the country has already seen them, but they're finally hitting the Midwest. We got high 100 degree weather, which is usually not normal for late August, especially the 100 degrees. Normally we get that in the middle of July. So it's kind of strange. The weather outside's a little wonky. It, it smells... And it feels like late September heading into fall weather. But then we get the 100 plus degrees and whoo, that's like high summer weather. So I don't know if Mother Nature knows what's going on. 
But take care, stay hydrated, stay out of the heat if you can. Send a prayer out to all those working out in this weather. Stay safe, everyone. Keep cool. Keep your cool. Remember, you deserve all the love that the universe has to offer. Don't forget, you too are worthy. You too deserve it. Let's make this week a great week. I will talk with you all later in the week. Have a great Monday. See you ladies. Bye for now.